our dream, this is our mission. Um, and we would like to achieve more children in the community, even more family in the community. Hello, my name is uh, Pinto Vunj, and uh, I'm a program director in SOS Children Village in Wambo. Uh, SOS program, we have uh, two different uh, target groups. One target group is children who have lost the parent care. It means that uh, they don't have opportunity to grow up in one family environment. So when we see some child with this circumstance, with the, this situation, so we give opportunity in SOSF village where he can join uh, with the SOS mother and he can gain new brothers here. Family Stress Friend program means that uh, children is at risk doesn't lose the family properly, but it is at a risk. If we don't address nothing around these, these children or this child, it means that some of them, you, we will find these child around on the street. Uh, and some a few cases, in a few moments, we give uh, um, some support like a med team, um, like a clothing, but it's an it's extremely situation. So we try to work in the beginning together. While we are working with her, so we give her the right skill and she starts uh, working alone. So one is prevent and one is take care. We have also almost 100 children in the kindergarten. We consider that a kindergarten is the, the foundation for education. A Noruega ajudou nos bastante e vimos que as nossas crianças não tiveram problema nenhum de crise, porque o alimento não lhes faltou, a comida, a, a roupa também não lhes faltou e a alegria no seu rosto não, não lhes faltou. Nós, como angolanos, não podemos agradecer, não temos palavras nem expressão de como exprimir o nosso agradecimento. Today. Uh, we will understand what the mother does after the children leave, after the children go to school. So now we are going to visit her and to try to understand what happened. Yes, I'm Veronica. This is nine years. A 29 anos, a recebi já roupa, sapato, mantas, colchão. As crianças estão doentes, medicamentos e as crianças já estão a estudar. O curso do meu irmão, nós que não estamos com cédula já me deram cedo. Se então vai sair como eu, não, não, se estou a conseguir, se não estou, estou bem feliz. typical family in our SOS uh, Stratfin family program. The majority caregiver they are human, facing with different different problem, challenge. And with the program we we are giving for all those lady hope, reason for for don't give up. doing everything while they have a life to support their family. For example, we, we, we met with uh, uh, Veronica Masanga. Veronica Masanga now, he, he looked the future differently. For example, when she get um, a bird document, it's like a 
simple document, but it brings hope because she looked that uh, maybe there is one window open just to get a job. And she spent all days, all time in the market to try to, to sell uh, and to get in the hand of day almost like 2,000 uh, Kwanzaa. It means that uh, uh, if she, she sell 2,000 uh, Kwanzaa is uh, enough for buy food and another stuff for, for the, the her families. My name is Fabio Philippe. I am the principal of the school. This is a, a Cambioti school, a school that SOS is running. Uh, we have here 1,521 children in this school, and uh, they, we have here 10 grades from grade 0 to grade 9. This school attends almost people, uh, students that, that are vulnerable, so students that have lost uh, their parents and they are living or with a single parent or with the grandparent. Here the, the, the student, they first of all they have a, a staff and the people that they care about them. Second, they uh, have equip they have the school equipped with supporting areas for them to have a quality education. I'm referring to the comp computer class, the library, laboratory, and also the home economics classes. We, we have this committee of parents and we have these uh, constant meetings with the, the parents. And in our meeting with the parents, we give some kind also of training in order for them to uh, give support and care about uh, their children. So we teach them how to give support extra support in, when they, they are at home in terms of uh, academic support just to ensure that the student they have some time at home to study and also we focus on the hygiene skills because we were having many issues with hygiene even disease caused by uh, hygiene problems and issues uh, we also give them some uh, skills and some training on how to uh, provide uh, food and nutrition for the children, for them to be healthy. They have uh, um, a better future because uh, education, we believe that education is a way to, um, um, to cut this cycle of vulnerability and poverty. So since they have a good education here, they can do better in life. Music